Welcome back. It is still Breakfast Daily on City TV. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, our personality today, she's a CEO of Caroline Group of Companies. She's an educationist and an entrepreneur. And get this, she plans on retiring at 30. Most of us start our lives at 30. I'm talking about Caroline Estinam Ajobla. And throughout our conversation with her, if you have any questions for her, let us know the hashtag is breakfast daily and the WhatsApp line is 0550 If you're outside Ghana, the country code is plus two three three. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for being with us. You look beautiful. You look gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me today. Thank you for being here. Now you've achieved a lot at twenty eight. Have I? What drives you? I just think seeing education dreams come true and just realizing my students are doing so great and getting to realize people don't give up on their dreams that's what drives me every single day that's what gets me to wake up every single day wow and at what point did you know that education would be your purpose because i wanted to be a medical doctor and i was so obsessed with medicine it was so bad that whenever i had a visit to the hospital I would end up interviewing the doctors. You're kidding. So it's not even about me being sick. It's about <laughs> what is this for? What is that for? Can I go with you to the ward? And yeah, it was that bad. So because I couldn't end up achieving that, I got to realize at the end of the day, no one deserves to give up their education dreams. Mm. So I decided to put myself in the position where no one would have to give up that dream. As far as that conversation reaches my table, mm -hmm. I just opened that door for that person. Wow. Now, how old were you when you decided that not only would you be an ambassador for education, but you would also be an entrepreneur? At 18 years old. What happened? So um, I couldn't go to the university to pursue medicine. Why? And because my parents couldn't afford it. And I didn't blame them for it. Yeah. This was 10 years ago. Yeah. So I was like, okay, instead of staying at home, I wanted to go to IPMC to study database technology and systems hardware and networking. Mm -hmm. Funny thing that I was the only girl in the systems hardware um, networking class. You're kidding. I'm serious. How did you manage that? Yeah, the boys wanted to bully me, but I bullied them. <laughs> yeah, and I, I was so good at it. So before I graduated from IPMC, I don't even think I was able to graduate because I couldn't continue paying the fees. Wow. So I started training people in ICT just to live by those coins, mm -hmm. excuse me to say. And then I wanted to host an IT fair just to bring IT schools to Ghana and then give scholarships to them and then also invest in um, entrepreneurs over here. And it was a smashing success. Mm -hmm. So the schools that came were like, okay, Carla, we want to do this in multiple cities, but let's start with Nigeria. Nice. Nigeria was a success. And so that, did you have to physically go to Nigeria? I had to physically go was to Nigeria. Was it your first time there? It was my first time How there. How was that experience like? It was unbelievable. And my first contract was $500. I always say this. I vividly remember the day I received that $500. And the first thing I did was buy a pack of papaya. You're joking. <laughs> I'm serious. Why? It was the best day of my life. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I've Aww. been paid an amount of money. That was the first time I had held dollars. And it was unbelievable. How old were you? 18. 18 years yes. old. Yes. So it was so unbelievable. Why? bought a you know, a pack of papaya <laughs> with celebrate. orange juice, and I was so <laughs> proud of myself. <laughs> but how did it feel that someone was willing to pay for the service that you were offering? It made me f know that I was on a journey, and it made me know, oh, there's something here. And that was the point where I let, I let the pain of not being a medical doctor go, because oh. I realized there's a bigger purpose. So speak to the 18-year-olds, 16-year-olds watching us this morning whose parents can't afford their education, who are feeling so down because they can't go after their dreams. Is life over because you can't chase those dreams for financial not. reasons? It's not. And I've had people telling me it's not possible for you to start a business without money. I think right now a lot of people are just very lazy hmm. and they just feel I can just sit here and have a dream and not wake up every day to do anything and then expect magic to happen. 
it's not over. You can be anything you want to be if only you set your mind to it. And you are going to receive a lot of no's. Are you crazy? People are going to tell you that. I remember a classmate of mine told me, can I stop kidding yourself when go back to school? This whole training people and all that, go school. I remember that day I cried. I'm like, oh Lord, today that classmate cannot even call my office to book an appointment because you just like i mean your life isn't you can't be anything you want to be looking back at when i had to rely on coco 50 pesos and not having to lay on a comfortable bed and having to start my business with a half broken laptop that wasn't even mine and i'm here today what makes you think you can't make it happen I was knocking at doors. Please, do you have someone who wants to study ICT? Because 10 years ago, IT was a big deal then. And, mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't that accessible. So it's a big deal when you tell someone, I will train your child to learn how to use a computer. Yeah. I, was knocking, I was knocking on doors in the morning. Please, do you have someone you want me to train? That was what I was doing then. Why can't you do it now? Are you too big enough to knock on doors? You can be anything you want to be. If only you put your mind to sometimes my life even amazes me you know I get so overwhelmed and I'm like what is happening yeah. so I'm not able to celebrate myself because it's unbelievable this is to say you can be in this position if only you wake up every day you work hard at your plan every single day you will get the doors will open you won't even know how it's going to start happening it will just start happening because you've put in a lot of hard work and you are very determined automatically the universe will just start positioning things for you hmm. so that's what i want them to know but talk to us about the hard work because we all get to see the success yeah. the days when you had to eat your 50 pesos cocoa, cocoa yes and I you still were still remember. not charging your first client I can for the service yes how important is it to actually provide the value first and then everything will fall in place i just I just wanted to, you know, I've always been in the position to want to help somebody. So the fact that I could use computers so well, I'm like, oh, there is a need for this. Because 10 years ago, computer was a big deal, though. Yeah. If you had computer, it's still a big deal. It's still a big deal, right? <laughs> we, 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 we are now here, so we don't think uh, it's that uh -huh, big of a deal. But, but it was a big, big deal. deal. So I'm like, okay, I've studied how to, you know, use the computer. So let me train people in that. And I had a plan. So that was when I got to realize, oh, Caroline, if you're not a medical doctor, what are you going to do? Yeah. God just put me in that position to open doors for people and it made everything worth it yeah. that's why I don't blame my parents for it I actually I'm grateful that that happened that I happen to be in the position now to not let people give up on their dreams so I just want anyone listening to me trust me it's not going to be easy but Caroline mm -hmm. how do we get away from that mindset you're growing up you know you see other kids with things that you don't have you see students who you're smarter than go off to school and you can't continue your education because your parents don't have anything. The people around you, most of them are just learning a trade and you are crazy enough to think that you could be this person that you probably don't have access to. How do we get that mindset first before we go out to make it happen? We have to first value ourselves and realize the power we have in ourselves, within us. And at the end of the day, you see, you don't have to measure who you are with somebody else. For me, you can't show me an Instagram account that only shows private jets, hotels, bags and all. And then I'll respect you for, I, and then I'm going to question myself and be like, God has not been good to me. I want to see the story. I want to see what you are about. I want to see this is what you are about. Okay, so I understand why you have to fly private jets. Do you understand me? I want the you to understand that you can't just be behind your phone and then see all these things and drive yourself crazy. First and foremost, what do you want to be? Okay, how do we get there? You need to have a plan. Now, I, I told you about using someone's half-working laptop. Mm -hmm. I didn't need to buy a laptop, but someone was good enough to borrow me his laptop. And that's what has gotten me to where I am now. It's okay to ask for favors. Oh, hi, I saw that you have this. Can I use it for like a week? At the end of the day, you need to have a plan. Wake up every single day and work harder to every... If you don't have a plan, how do you get there? Talk to us about the things you failed at. Failed at? I think one of the things I struggled with was finding the right people to work for me. Hmm. 
because it got to a point I couldn't manage everything. So it got to a point, it got so overwhelming that I had to just put people in positions to manage things for me. And here is a girl who is, I mean, I'm now fat. Like, I used to be very skinny. I'm trying to get you to understand. Yeah. So then, like really tiny yeah, then I'm trying to tell people, no, men, you understand, do it like this for me. And they're like, you are old enough to be my daughter. You are old enough to be this. And then they mess you up. That has been my struggle. And I think I failed at that. I don't see that as a failure. I think I see that as a learning experience. Mm -hmm. I've now gotten to the point in time where I've learned so much. And now I know how to eliminate certain risk factors that's not going to cause trouble for my business. Mm -hmm. That has been my greatest challenge in this whole entire journey, finding the right people who would stick with you, to be with you in throughout all the times, and to actually work for you genuinely, mm -hmm. put their heart and soul. You give up sleep for your business. They also will have to put in their all. I've gotten to the point where it's now okay, where I'm able to manage it. How do you manage a group of companies in your 20s? I'm using, I'm relying heavily on technology because my offices are in different countries. So okay. I, I rely heavily on technology. And now it has gone into the point, I'm able to control everything with my phone. I just okay. have to log in and see what is happening in Nigeria. Oh, okay, Ama said this. Okay, fine. So I'm, I'm relying heavily on that and I'm just using 20% global um, human workforce through contract base, maybe you don't always have to be full time for me and all that. And because again, I have a plan, I have a structure, and that is why I'm confident to tell you that I'm retiring at 30. How are you going to make and that And you want happen? to fight yes. me. Yeah, I don't, I don't it's get my, it. It's my career plan. It. It's my career what, plan. First of all, why are you retiring at 30? Okay, so I always said that I was going to maintain an advisory role in okay. my company, which means that I'm just going to be there and just direct. Because I've already laid the blueprints already. Mm -hmm. And I'm training education consultants. How old is the company now? 10 years. I'm in my 10th year of entrepreneurship. Congratulations. So two, Happy anniversary. Yeah, thank you. So in two years, you're, you're going to be at my retirement party. You're going to be there. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, you will I'll be, be there. there. I'll be you there. You will be there. So I'm going to maintain an advisory role and okay. see all the education consultants I'm, I'm training, better support the education industry. Education is going to change. I'm, I, you are going to see a lot more people talking about education. Hmm. I'm, I'm letting education look so fun. Talk to us about some of the initiatives you've, you've, you've done. Um, the scholarship award, giving hmm. out laptops, and I've been able to work with schools in different countries. Life or education is all about studying USA, UK, Canada. I'm a big believer in you should be able to study in Lesotho mm -hmm. and then still have a world class education. Yeah. Right, so I'm always on the quest of finding new opportunities in different countries and relating or con you know connecting that to to families across the world. So I'm still giving out or granting scholarships. I don't post them all. <laughs> I grant scholarships all the time, and then I feel that students need to have the technology in place. And I grant laptops however, whenever I want. How do you do that? How do you make people those write? See, the number of emails I receive on a daily. So I just go through that and I just, okay, please, can you get hold of this person for me and send a laptop to the person? Wow. Yes, that's, there's no protocol to the things I do. And a lot of people ask, how are you able to fund it? I'm like, okay, I'm a titan a lot. I'm a titan. I believe in titan. So, my earnings have to go out there. So that's how come I can give 18 times a month. And yeah, that's my tight. I'm just giving it out there. So that's been the backbone of my philanthropy. That's why I've never ever raised funds for, for donations before. Because hmm. I use my tight to do everything. Wow. Now you've won a lot of awards. How did it feel to know that people see the work you're doing and they recognize you and want to celebrate you? It's satisfying. But then again, you see, I don't think so much into everything because it will drive me crazy. <laughs> it's a bit overwhelming. Even It's a bit overwhelming. Even when I have gifts being sent to me, it's like, why are you doing this for me? You know, I'm but just... But you've worked hard. I know. I know. But then again, I don't think too much about it. But I, I'm so grateful that people are acknowledging the work I do. They appreciate it. 
they award me i'm grateful i'm grateful <laughs> what's next for you two years left until you retire you'll see a lot more education projects for me i'll be talking a lot about education caroline tv and radio launches august 3rd nice i'll be talking all things education okay on that channel and then how I'll do we subscribe before august youtube and soundcloud okay um you see caroline tv caroline radio and then the one women succeed. I hope you'll be there. Of course. I'm bringing powerhouses. Okay. You see, we are powerhouses. So be there. We are going to empower the youth. We are going to redefine their mindset as the way, you know, no. Whatever it is you are thinking is not, it's not like it's not the way. So we are going to redefine the mindset. We are going to give them the tools and the resources to go out there and be the best they can be. Um, this month, I'm going to the prisons. I'm going to the Instagram prison wow. to distribute um, sanitary pads and then pay fines for some women. I'm going to be looking into cases hmm. and then pay their fines for someone that need not to be there because they can't pay their fines. In the fall, I'm going to be touring schools. Wow. I think it's going to be my first tour where people see me and then interact with me. Because so, everything is mainly virtual. Like, no, because um, all my school tours has been with universities and students. I've not been there personally before. So there's a first time that I'm personally going to have my own tour and then talk to students and all that. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited and a lot more. Everything education. Where do we follow all your projects on social media? See at Jogler on Instagram. Facebook and LinkedIn. I don't have a Twitter, so. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank Caroline, you too. Thank you for having us. me. And thank you at home for staying. We hope you've been inspired. At just 28, she's managing a group of companies. She's an educationist and she's also a philanthropist and she plans on retiring at 30. We don't have any excuse to not chase our dreams. Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe. Like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.